And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Seattle Mariners. So just about set now, Trey Turner at the plate. to kick the pitch rolled over to third that's a base hit man aboard on the leadoff single well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there that's exactly what you're taught to do with that pitch but it's not that easy to execute in a live at bat great job of staying on that breaking ball down Turner runs and now this one's a rocket to right way back there gone And up next for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. On the ground to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. And down loud strikes he goes. One down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That is good. The first baseman, number five. Freddie Freeman. This one high in the air to left center. Buxton in position. Squeezes it. Out number two. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. That is it. The second baseman, Trevor Story. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Popped up. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Around first and hustling for second. Safe at second. Ian Happ up to hit. That first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Story at second with two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Only two now. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Go to the bottom of the first. Here's the second baseman, Garrett Hampson. Leading off for the Mariners. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is in for a strike. Going to count one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. 
And he's down on strikes. And one gone. Here's Chris Bryant now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Snell, he isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable, he just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. A wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. Bounce to the right side. Fires over to first. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you that expect him to get to the middle the of the ballgame. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. First pitch, and he just misses. And what about analytics? Because one of the ways it seems like they've contributed to the trend is it's not just about are you capable of getting deep, that now focusing on the numbers, maybe the matchup is better with a different guy as the game goes on. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Slapped foul. Only a handful of pitchers can go through an order three times, maybe even four times, and the analytics have contributed to that trip. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Second inning set to go. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ben Workvet. The catcher. Ben. The right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The 0 1. And that one hammered way back there. And that one is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. And they boost their lead. It's 2 0. Here is Moncada. Batting it. The third baseman, Yohan Moncada. On the ground. France gloves it. And he's out on the tag. Leori Garcia up to the plate. The designated hitter. Leori Garcia. Swings through that one. Oh and one. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. The pitch. In the air, center field. Snags it for the second out. Trey Turner steps the to the plate for the six. Dodgers. One Six for one five. with a single and Trey a run scored so Turner. far. Foul ball there. Next offering is fouled back. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Trey Turner crushes it, and they add to their lead. It's 4 nothing. Here's Kiermaier now. Now that the seven field. Kevin. Foul ball. Next pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And it's fouled away. Next pitch has popped up. Gilbert makes the catch, and that'll do it.
back in Seattle and stepping in is the speedy Byron Buxton. The, Mariners, the center fielder, Byron. The pitch, Buxton. And there's a ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. The wind of the pitch. And it is two and one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Turner climbs in on that right side. In the air, left side. Pat on the move. And he makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying that closed. If he does That's that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority oh, instead of a fly out to left. Nico Horner takes the ball here as he stands in now. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Next one just misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Next pitch is inside. Full count now. That's out to center field. Kiermaier settles under this one. And that is that. Set for the start of the inning. Mookie Betts will get us started. We got for the doctor. The right Gilbert field. back to work. That one misses, and it's one to zero. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. One two now. Stays alive. The one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's a one two. In the air right field. Hops over the wall and that's an automatic double. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Buxton drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. Here's Trevor Story now. The batter number 10. Second base. Trevor. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. One and two to count. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Line drive, base hit. Flying around third is Betts. He scores, it's 5 nothing. Really nice job, a two strike hitting in that at bat. Just a very nice now approach bad. and swing right there to use the big part of the yeah. field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Next to hit, Ian Hat. Oh, and now a wild pitch.
Kicks and deals. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Story on his way home, and it gets by him. The run comes in to score from second, and it's now a six-run lead. Back-to-back -back base hits put a really yeah, nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. And here is Ben Workbeck. First pitch just misses. Next offering is fouled back. And a 1 1. Liner, base hit. Hap on his way home. He'll score, and they're pulling away up by seven now. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. That ball was now drilled, that. 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Now, number 53, Christian Javier. Yoan Moncada with a chance to hit. Swing and a ball lifted left field, and there's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Didn't exactly square that one up, now but sometimes you don't have to. Hitter. Kind of your classic Leary. jam shot blooper oh, right there. Made a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, one out. And a swing and a miss there. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Here's Turner now. The batter, the shortstop, Trey Turner. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Line drive, base hit. Wordbet around third. He'll score easily. It's 8 nothing. Fires to second too late. And he's got a double. Fix himself up at RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long. And so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Bounce to the right. On to France. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. And now Alejandro Kirk. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And it's foul. The pitch. Up the middle, Turner collects. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. So, man aboard. Here's Alex Kirilov. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. This one in the air center field. Kiermaier makes the play, and there's one down. Jorge Mateo now. Batting nut. The right fielder. Jorge Mateo. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh, 
Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. And that one is lifted in the air. Kiermaier makes a move towards the gap. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Here's Garrett Hampson. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And that's in there for strike one. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the grab after a long run. And that's the inning. Welcome back. On to the fourth. And now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. The right and a pitch. Mookie Betts. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One up, one down. And now Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Number five. Freddie Freeman. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. The That's about as textbook 10. as it gets. Second got his stride and load Trevor out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. The next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. One, two now. Ground ball could be two. That's a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now the 01. That one out to right. Mateo gets under it. Brings it in. Runner tags up for third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Here's the catcher to hit. Ben Workvet. He's already homered here in this one. Ben Workvet. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. He's done it again. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they throw three on the board. It's 8 nothing. Now the third baseman, Yoan Moncada. Really baseman. good piece of hitting last Yoan time. Going to the opposite Moncada. field. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, out towards left center. Buxton makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, and now here is Chris Bryant. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Next offering way off the plate. Swings and misses. One and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The one two. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it, and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 
and the pitch. Stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And he deals. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Man, that feels so good when you can win a battle like that. Really nice job yeah, staying up the middle Perfect. with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot yeah. it through the infield. On the ground, two ball. To second, there's one. On the first, double play. Here's Byron Buxton. Up next is the end. The center field. Byron Buxton. Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point, you start to look at, can we double that? Make it double digits, make it two touchdowns, make it 14. 11 nothing. your final score. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Here now is our final line score.